When I heard the news that Brett had Parkinson's, everything stopped. I'm 38 years old, I'm healthy, I'm a marathoner, I barely have any symptoms, and my doctor tells me I have a disease for old people. That's a little shocking. One of the things that we find with Parkinson's patients is that living with a disease is challenging, and they almost don't know what steps to be taking. Parkinson's is a scary thing for anybody, and for a young person, it's particularly scary. Job, kids to raise, a life you want to enjoy to the fullest. So when I heard Brett was participating in a study about technology, I was really thrilled and excited. We've long struggled with a challenge where physicians are really seeing patients infrequently and in a very short snippet of time. The idea of marrying technology such as wearables to the experience of the patient day in and day out enables us really for the first time to collect an extraordinary amount of data. Having a device allowed the technology to do a lot of that work for me in a way that I barely even noticed. And to me, that's very promising. The objective is to create a technology platform that Parkinson's researchers can use to both better understand the behavior of the disease, as well as identify treatments that can slow the progression and improve care. Establishing an open access platform where data from different devices over time can be collected leads us on a path of thinking, wow, we can really distribute it broadly to the scientific communities. Being able to partner with Intel and take advantage of and benefit from the ability for machine learning and algorithm generation is just an extraordinary gift to science and to our ability to bring this type of additional data to our field. We are thrilled to have had the opportunity to work with the Michael J. Fox Foundation to build this end-to-end -end big data analytics platform to advance the research behind Parkinson's disease with the obvious objective of identifying a cure. There is nothing more important to Parkinson's patients than a better treatment and a cure. Anything that allows us to have a really good quality of life as long as possible is the goal. And that's our hope, that there will be a cure in our lifetime.